Thank you, and uh, thank you actually for inviting me to talk about refugees. Closer, there we Okay. <laughs> Uh, by my name, the last name, um, it's not Smith. <laughs> that means I came to this country also as a refugee in 1996. Um, I came from Bosnia. And usually refugees come to country of resettlement because they're not able to go back to their country of origin. Um, Refugees, they are usually put in the same category, actually they are part of immigrants, but for immigrants uh, they can actually go to another country because of economic uh, opportunity, but they still can go back to their country of origin. For refugees that's actually not possible because otherwise they would not get the refugee status. Um, tonight I'm going to tell you a little bit about the process. Um, also I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. As I said, I came um, as a refugee from Bosnia in 1996. I was almost seven months pregnant with my first child. I um, had two friends, we landed in the calls, did not know anybody and was very terrified of the new um, new beginning in my life, having a new baby, not knowing what will happen. And um, my actually child, my first daughter, Verena, was born on December 23rd, 1996. And um, for me, that was the best Christmas gift I ever could get. For me, um, with the birth of my first child was actually getting through everything that my husband and I went through through Bosnian war and um, coming here to start a new life and being happy family where nobody will judge us or our child what part of her is one religion or another. Um, Right now, that little girl is actually almost 21 years old. She is a student of UFI. Um, and that's additional reason for me to be here tonight. I want to see her, but also to share my story and uh, more information about refugees with all of you. This is definition by the um, international law and also um, Immigration Naturalization Act law of um, 1980. A refugee is a person who is outside of his or her country and is unable or unwilling to return because of prosecution or well um, fear of prosecution. As I said, in my particular case, my husband and I were a different religion, and um, even though none of us are very religious, but at that time in Bosnia it was not possible actually to live a normal life um, being in a mixed marriage. Very often people um, mix asylum seekers and refugees. And actually when asylum seeker is approved for asylum in the country, they have all the same rights like refugees. It's just the difference is for refugees, all the processing part is actually happening overseas. And for asylees, it's happening in this country. For example, if somebody comes to ask for asylum, they need first to have a valid visa to enter this country and then ask for asylum. And in a case, sometimes um, asylum seekers are waiting for very long time for their cases to be approved 
and at the time when the case is approved, at that time, asylum seeker has actually refugee status in the United States. Um, in the same category as the refugees um, belong the stateless people and actually in my experience we worked with several groups. One of them were Mashkatian Turks that they came from Georgia. Um, the whole group of people that never were able to get their passports, they were never accepted by the Georgian um, government. They were not able to have any of um, jobs, that means all the jobs that they were doing, actually they were working, what we say here, under the table because they could not get, they did not have legal documents that they can work. Another example would be Palestinians. Um, they also are not recognized, even I know several people that I help with applications for a citizenship that they were from Palestine and they were refugees in Iraq, but the United States did not um, recognize Palestine as a country, that means we could not put that as a, their um, nationality or uh, country or nationality because it's not recognized. One more thing, probably right now you hear about Rohingya people also um, from um, Burma. That's actually another group of stateless people because um, government of uh, Myanmar or Burma does not recognize Rohingya group as their citizens. Special um, immigrant visa, actually this is a very interesting uh, program they, that started in 2008 and it was more, um, it's a program to save people who helped United States Army in Iraq and Afghanistan because working for U.S. Army, they actually put their lives and the lives of their families in jeopardy um, and in order for their applications to be processed, they had to be processed in the country of origin. That means these are only two countries where you can hear about um, special immigrant visa and those are usually people that work um, as interpreters or um, in other capacity with U.S. Army. And that one is tricky. Um, when I said that refugee is actually scared of prosecution, um, there are five different, you can just click, yep. Five different types of prosecution. Um, people are prosecuted due to their race, their ethnicity, their religion, um, nationality, social group or political opinion. And in order to actually come to the United States, first they have to be recognized as a refugees. And we said that refugee is actually a definition. That means every person that applies to um, get a refugee status needs to go to UNHCR, that's actually United Nations, High Commissioner for Refugees or other non-governmental organizations there in the country where people are placed because usually they are not in their country of origin, they, are, they need to be in a second country to get a refugee status. There are three different um, ways that actually UNHCR um, trying to help people that um, are displaced from their country of origin to help them uh, or to go back to the country if, for example, they are um, they flee a war 
and war is ended, situation in the country of origin is pretty stable, um, then people are going back. Sometimes in a country of the um, a secondary country, uh, people actually start working, sometimes they are able to get their um, status and they stay there, even though that's a very, very rare. Um, I know in uh, 2006, we actually um, resettled so many Burundian refugees that they were in um, Tanzania from 1978. Um, Burundi did not want to accept them back. Tanzania did not recognize them as, um, for being in their uh, territory, even though they lived for years. Um, and the only solution for them was the third country resettlement. That means um, even if you're a refugee, that does not mean that you're going to be resettled. A very small number of refugees is actually resettled, less than 